Farm Basics is brought to you by the Liberty Link Trait and Liberty Herbicide from Bayer. The most reliable weed management solution, Liberty Link and Liberty Herbicide are the link to efficient row crop production and sustainable weed management. During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to discuss ditches and what you can do in terms of bug control and weed control. All right, Brian, first of all, some guys say, wait a minute, I got enough to worry about out in my fields. Why am I worried about the ditches? But when you think about it, this is where a lot of bugs and weeds start, yep. and then they spread out into your field. So if you can control them there, it's a good thing. The other thing is just for your own safety and comfort. I get out of my truck, a lot of times I'll park right along a gravel road, walk down through the ditch, and you know what happens every once in a while? I end up with ticks crawling up my legs, or I have other bugs out there, mosquitoes and different things that I just don't want to deal with. And if I can kill them so I don't have to deal with them, that's not a bad thing either. Okay, here's the other thing, or the other way you can look at this. Rather than from an economic or, hey, it benefits me standpoint, let's benefit the landlord. In other words, when the landlord is driving past your ground, what does he expect to see? He wants to see it perfect so he can go brag to his other buddies when he goes for coffee. Well, he can't do that if you got a whole bunch of weeds or bugs out in the ditch. All right, so <laughs> what are we speaking about specifically here? When we look at ditches, a lot of times we end up with a variety of weeds. Sometimes they'll start right along the edge of the road. Sometimes they'll start right out in the middle of the ditch. A lot of times we've got some form of thistle or a different different broadleaf weed that we're very concerned with. And actually, broadleaf weeds are fairly inexpensive to control in a grassy situation. Well, they are if you want to go out there with 2,4-D, but here's the issue. A lot of crops are sensitive to 2,4-D. So we've had it even in our own operation where I tell our guys, look, First thing in the spring, I want you to get out and spray the ditches. Okay, well, what's the priority? Is planting more of a priority? Yep. Is uh, getting fertilizer on more of a priority on the crop? Yep. Is spraying the crop more of a priority? Yep. So pretty soon this falls way down the list and it's now a month, month and a half later after I said, hey, let's get this done right now. Okay, well, by this point, we've got corn up, we have soybeans up, we have all these other crops that are up, and if you go out with 2,4-D in the ditch, where do you think that 2,4-D is going to go if the wind's blowing more than one mile per hour, which it does every single day? It's going <laughs> on somebody's crop, and they're not going to be happy, or especially if it's your crop, you're not going to be happy. Okay, well chances are, Brian, you're, you're kind of blowing this up big, but chances are, when we're looking at weeds in the ditches, you've got a weed here and there. In our part of the world, you've got a lot of brome grass in the ditches, it's a perennial, it's pretty hardy, and it fills in fairly well. So we end up with just a weed here and there. And a lot of times what we end up with is somebody riding on a four-wheeler with a little hand sprayer that just squirts a little bit on a thistle here and there, and that's about it. So I don't think the weed control is well, really that tough in most cases. You can, but you have to be a little bit careful because a lot of people will say, well, stinger is the very best thing I can use, or hornet that contains stinger. That's the best thing I can use in grass. And they're right. I mean, it's awesome on thistles. But the problem is, if you want to go out with a four-wheeler, you've got to use safety equipment because getting stinger in your eyes is is not a good thing. It's an eye irritant, so you have to be really careful well, with that. It's more than that. It can cause some serious damage if you get a whole bunch it in your is, eyes but, and don't get it washed but out. But that's why just going out with straight 2,4-D a lot of times does just fine as long as you do it late in the fall or early in the spring so you're not hurting any other crop. Well, and the other side about that time of year, Brian, is then you allow the grass to grow actively yep. and basically choke out any other weeds right. that are going to come. But you know, if you're out just spot spraying here and there, it doesn't quite work that way with bugs. They're all over the place, but fortunately when well, you're spraying for bugs, you aren't so worried about the spray drift out into a crop That's field. right, but not necessarily are they just going to be everywhere. They, a lot of times, will move in herds, Darren. So we're going to see swarms of bugs. No, you'll see whether it's army cutworm or grasshoppers or something like that, you'll see them clustered together and they're moving all almost as a pack. So you can stop a lot of these bugs from entering your field. You just have to be a little bit careful with the insecticide choice. If you're not going to bale up your grass and feed it to livestock, you can use almost anything. So I can go out there with $2 worth of a very good pyrethroid like Silencer Declare, for example, no problem. If I'm going to feed that, then I'm limited to maybe seven or malathion or something like that. Okay, now I have a lot of guys that say, well, I don't really have a sprayer that I can drive down into the ditch with. What many farmers will do is they'll just take their spray boom, they'll drive right along the edge of their field and they'll hang the boom out over the ditch and just spray straight insecticide as they go around the end rows of the field. A lot of times that's where we see bug issues, whether it's different species that start out as moths or or you know things like uh, stock borer that come in out of grassy areas. And we'll see farmers just spray right around the grassy areas outside their field and then spray a little ways into the field too in case any of the bugs have already gotten into the field. Now one other thing that we do on our farm is we'll spray right under fence lines. Now granted, if we're not gonna have livestock there, we've taken out many of the fence lines, but if we still have fence lines, then we wanna spray a ground sterilant 
right underneath that fence line so we don't have to go along and trim when we come along and mow then that takes care of everything so this is another thing that you could do products like Pramatol, Hivar they are ground sterilants you just have to be careful you don't want to get a big wide swath but if you've got a narrow path right underneath that fence line that's usually a good thing to do. Well, when we talk about the ditches that happen to be around the outsides of our fields, it's important to manage them for weeds and insects just to keep those things from creeping out into your field and to please your landlords and yourself. Well, one of the weeds that you might find in your ditch is our Weed of the Week. We'll tell you how to stop it on your farm coming up later in the show.